Hey, this is Malte. I am the CEO of the Brill Multimedia. Today I want to introduce you to our latest add-on to the RevSelect program, Charts Engine. Charts Engine is a lightweight library for runtime revolution that lets you draw charts. You can choose from line charts, bar charts, pie and donut charts. I'd like to give you a quick walkthrough through the example stack that comes bundled with the library. Once I open the examples, it automatically asks where Charts Engine is located. I choose the folder it lives in and it opens and automatically gets in use. Let's take a look at the lines chart first. This one is highly optimized for speed. Let me show you how fast it can render your data. 50 lines are rendered in 145 milliseconds. Let's choose 100, 142 milliseconds. Let's try with 1000 lines. 225 milliseconds, 5000 lines of data in 366 milliseconds, 50,000 lines of data in 671, and now let's try with 500,000 lines. This is all on a MacBook to 1.1 gigahertz, so it took a while to build the data and now it's rendering the chart, and you can see it's rendered in 4 seconds. That's not too shabby I guess. Charts Engine does not only let you render your data in a quick manner, but it's also highly flexible in how your chart may look like. Let me show this in the Working with a Grid example. You can see you can turn on and off the description on the x-axis, on the y-axis and a few other settings you can make. You can determine how many lines should be drawn in the grid just by setting a property. Of course, you can set this for each axis separately. You can let the library figure out the minimum and maximum values that are contained in your data or you can set the minimum and maximum values yourself. So if you choose a value that is lower than the maximum value and minimum value in your data, you will see some clipping. If you choose a higher value, you can see that the amplitude of your graph is scaling. If you choose not to set these properties, the library will figure out the minimum and maximum values from your data. You are in complete control about the colors that you can set in the library. So you can choose a different color for the x-axis and the y-axis and you also have the possibility to set it to alternating colors. You can achieve a nice effect when working with blend modes. So if I set the blending here to source copy, you will see that you can see through the grid of the y-axis. So I'm switching this back to blend. And now you see that you can see through the y-axis grid and have your effect that was described earlier. You can decide if the grid should be rendered in front of the data or behind the data. So if you put this in front, by setting a property it only makes sense if the grid is not opaque. So if you set the colors for the grid to empty, you will see that you can, uh, can look through the grid and only the lines are drawn. Done, all properties are set to empty, the grid is in front and you only see the lines now. So let's take a look at the next chart type. The appearance of the bars grouped chart type is depending on your data. So if you have negative values, you will see that the zero line is in the middle of the chart. If you change that to positive values only, the zero line is at the bottom. So I'm switching that back to a negative value and you see when I render the chart, it flips back to the middle of the chart. Of course, Charts Engine will let you render pie charts. So, if you look at the example, you can see from the data that you can render a chart that can show its values, but more interesting is the brother of the pie chart, the donut chart. You can see it has a transparent hole in the middle. If I render the chart, it reappears. If you, I change some data here and remove a line of data, re-render the chart. You can see it only has two rings and the library figured it out on its own. So let's get back to the welcome screen. Oopsie, no, this one, yeah. Let me show you the final chart type. This is the line stacked chart type. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and I'm looking forward to see you on the forums or on the use list to answer all the questions that may arise.